Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeremy and for today's video we are going to talk about Japanese skincare and we are going to talk about one of my most favorite Japanese sunscreen. It is also by Shiseido and I'm talking about our Anessa Tone Up Brightening UV Sunscreen Gel and this one is SPF 50 plus PA++++. Now this sunscreen is actually a whitening sunscreen. It is a brightening sunscreen and you know I like everything whitening. Now this one also says shining in the sun, radiant, free, now on into the future. And this one is 90 grams and I think the price of this is 2,640 yen. A little expensive but for me it's not that expensive because it is a lot cheaper than L'Occitane. Done. Now this one is also a medicinal UV gel with a tone up finish which means that you can also use it as a primer so before you put your foundation or any makeup you can use this as a primer as well so that you don't need to apply any tone up primer, any primer or any makeup base but if you still want then of course it is up to you. Now this sunblock is good for UV protection, this is also waterproof and this can also be easily removed by soap. This is not sticky and it feels very light on the skin. Now there are two of these Anessa sunscreen. Um, the one is in a gold packaging but I chose this one because it is brightening and it is whitening. The Anessa sunscreen and gold packaging does not have the whitening and the brightening effect and that's why I chose this. Now let's talk about the ingredients of this Anessa sunscreen um, Tone Up Brightening UV Gel SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Okay, four pluses very important SPF 50 very important and guys when you choose your sunscreen make sure that it is at least SPF 30 PA++++ and please apply sunscreen even on cloudy days because me in Japan even if it's winter I apply sunscreen every day and you know I always stay at home because I have to take care of my baby I don't really go out so I'm always at home I'm always indoors I still apply sunscreen the moment I wake up. That's the first thing that I do. I wake up and then I don't even brush my teeth. I don't even like comb my hair, but I make sure that I apply my sunscreen first. And then after I apply my sunscreen, I can relax knowing that my skin is protected and then I can eat my breakfast and then I can brush my teeth and then I can shower and then I can do other things that I need to do in a day as long as I don't forget to apply my sunscreen. Now, let's talk about the ingredients of this Anessa sunscreen. Now, this Anessa sunscreen has um, active whitening ingredients and skincare ingredients. I have my notes here you guys because you know I write down everything so that it is easy for me to refer to my notes and it seems like this one has M tranisamic acid and this is very effective for whitening your skin. Now this active whitening ingredient also suppresses the melanin production on your skin and that's why it gives you the brighter and whiter skin tone. Now this sunscreen also prevents your spots and your freckles and that's one of the reasons as well why I really like this sunscreen. Everything from Shiseido is good and Anessa by the way you guys is by Shiseido. This one also has an active rough skin protection. It also has plant derived moisturizing and skin beautifying ingredients. This sunscreen also has yellow flower extract and green tea extract and we know that green tea is a very good for beauty. It is a good antioxidant. It is also rich in glycerin, which really moisturizes your skin. It also gives my skin that healthier and youthful look. And this one has a floral fragrance. This is probably one of the best sunscreens that I have ever tried. Um, it brightens my skin. It also suppresses melanin production, which is always what I'm looking for in all my skincare products and my beauty products. This sunscreen doesn't also like feel tight on the skin. And sometimes I don't even need to wear foundation after I 
apply the sunscreen. It also doesn't give me breakouts and it's much cheaper than L'Occitane. Another very important thing that I'd like to highlight with this Anessa sunscreen, you guys, is that it has safe ingredients. So this one has titanium oxide and zinc oxide. If you want to protect your skin, if you want to choose products that is safe for your skin, and if we are talking about sunscreen and sunblock, please choose mineral sunscreens. And when we talk about mineral sunscreen, these are sunscreens with titanium oxide and zinc oxide because these are very safe for the skin. It doesn't really absorb to the skin. It is healthier for you. It is healthier for your skin. It's also safer for the environment. The only drawback that I notice with this sunscreen is that it kind of like leave a white cast. But for me, it is not a problem but for most people it is I'm going to show you guys so this is the Anessa sunscreen so I just opened it I'm going to put like a little bit here okay it kind of have like that I don't know what color is that um kind of like a light light purple color I don't know what color is it kind of like a beige or something it really does leave a white cast, okay? But because I have a fairer skin tone, it doesn't really matter. But for people who don't have like a fairer skin tone, then this might be a problem because it really does leave a white cast. But with me, when I apply it, it just easily blends onto my skin, onto my skin tone, and you can barely notice the white cast. Now, I'm going to demonstrate you guys how you should apply your Anessa sunscreen or any sunscreens that you may have, okay? Now, of course, open the cap, okay? So take a small amount on your fingertips. We're going to use this finger and this finger. So again, wash your hands first, you guys, before you put any skincare products in your hands because our hands are the dirtiest parts of our body so please 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 wash your hands first I already wash my hands okay so um, I am right-handed so I'm going to use these hands so let's put some products here okay all right so let's put some sunscreen on our forehead okay and also on our nose Actually, I already put makeup, so I'm not sure if I should be doing this. And also on your chin, okay? And also both cheeks, okay? Both cheeks. And then what you're going to do is you can just like spread it all over, all right? And guys, please reapply your sunscreen, especially if you are outside, okay? Especially in summer, make sure you reapply your sunscreen every three hours. Very important. So let me get a mirror here and I want to check if it is um, properly spread on my face, okay? Wow, oh my god, it didn't even destroy my foundation or my makeup because I had makeup on before I put the sunscreen. Because like I said, you can also think of this as like your foundation. So if you don't want to use foundation or wear any foundation, so you can take the same amount on your fingertips and then follow the same procedure that I just showed you, okay? So five points on your face, so on your forehead, on your nose, on your chin, and both your cheeks. So that's how you apply your sunscreen you guys and also don't forget to apply on your neck as well but right now you guys I am wearing a turtleneck so I really can't show you but I also put sunscreen on my neck as well and when you put sunscreen or anything that you put in your face okay you have to put it on your neck as well and you have to apply it in an upward motion okay like that not like this because that's gonna cause wrinkles we don't want wrinkles even on your face when you apply foundation or sunscreen you have to do it in a circular upward motion like this okay not like this you guys because ah high wrinkles we don't want wrinkles so don't do that and this sunscreen you guys you can also apply on your body and that's why it is in a bigger bottle and guys if you like other Japanese skincare if you like Milano CC products I have a tutorial on how you should be applying your Milano CC products the link is up here please watch that video and if there are other Japanese skincare products or anything from Japan that you'd like me to talk about please let me know 
in the comments as well and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to support my channel and also please like this video and share it on your socials and i will see you guys next time bye you went away.